details. Well, tonight, thousands of people were out at Panther Island Pavilion in Fort Worth for their first outdoor concert since the pandemic began. And as our Nicole Nielsen found, the heat did not seem to stop people from enjoying the show. She's got the story all new at 10 o'clock. I've literally got a sweat rag. That's how hot it is right now. Tonight in Fort Worth, two things returned. I am burning up right now as we speak. <laughs> so. The hot Texas sun and large gatherings and locals couldn't wait. It's the first concert of the summer for Panther Island Pavilion and nothing, not even the sweltering heat could keep people away. They're expecting 10,000 people to walk through these gates. And with that kind of crowd, with the, this being one of the hottest days of the year so far, um, that's what we have to watch out for. MedStar is on site at the DJ Tiesto concert with 12 paramedics to make sure after a year off, folks haven't forgotten how to take care of themselves at concerts in extreme heat. My experience with these uh, types of events is that uh, they get loud and crazy. Um, people do get overheated and we're having to hydrate uh, and unfortunately transport uh, several people to the hospital. They say it's the temperatures, but also the humidity that makes it much harder to catch your breath. And when 10,000 people cram into an outdoor concert together, it's just going to compound that all together. But despite the heat, Tiesto fans tell us the concert's a way for them to move past COVID. We can go into the concert without having to worry about masks. We don't have a mask on. They're yeah. not taking our temperature. So I feel like it's back to normal. And enjoy the things they took for granted last summer. Who doesn't want to go to concerts and big crowds and not have to wear a mask? In Fort Worth, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News. MedStar says they also have two transport trucks at Panther Island Pavilion ready if anyone needs help. We're here at Panther Island Pavilion where it's a empty parking lot, but tomorrow around this time, city officials are expecting thousands of people to be here for a concert, especially because COVID restrictions have relaxed. Five to 7,000 people are expected to show up for Saturday's concert. My name is Tiesto, are you ready to party? At the Panther Island Pavilion featuring DJ Tiesto and DJ Shami. We're trying to get back on our feet. Joe Silva has been waiting for this day since the beginning of the pandemic. We're just setting up the staging and lighting. 94 in Dallas, 91 in Washington. Despite the intense heat tomorrow. And you factor in the humidity, it'll feel like 103. Concern's always dehydration. You know, people are out in the sun. More than a dozen first responders and 50 ambulances from MedStar will be on standby. Uh, and MedStar's 911 operators will be fully staffed. Restrictions are relaxing. People want to get out. They want to do stuff. While the concerts aren't expected to start until later on in the day, officials are expecting thousands of people to start tailgating early in the afternoon. People are already in the parking lot, you know, having fun and getting ready for the event. It will be freaking spectacular. And a reminder to stay hydrated in Fort Worth. I'm Molly Basu. And we want to hottest ticket in town on the hottest day of the year thus far thousands packing texas motor speedway today for one of the most highly anticipated races but with that heat index above 105 the temperatures aren't just unpleasant folks of course they are dangerous our caroline vandergriff looks at how everyone across dfw stayed safe and hopefully cool for these families this is the best way to beat the heat. You can do the sprinkler, but then my walk, my yard gets flooded and all that. So I'm like, you know what? Just they have it going. Let's go. Splash days in White Settlement got busier as the day got warmer. At very first time you come in, you're just like, oh, it's hot. And then once, as soon as you get into the water, you're fine. It's perfect. MedStar implemented its extreme weather response procedure today because of the high temperatures. Even if it's not technically 105, but with the humidity and everything counted in, that's when it becomes really dangerous. The hottest ticket in town on Sunday, the all-star race at Texas Motor Speedway. Fans say the temperature wouldn't keep them away, though, whether they chose to watch in the stands or out here in the campgrounds. We would be here no matter what. But after being inside the Speedway yesterday, wow! Lisa Zavala and her friends are choosing to stay out by their RV today. You have everything you need. You have your drinks, you have your bathroom, you have your food. A little AC, if you get too hot, you go in a 
a little icy. Yeah, absolutely. Cause you don't, you don't get that in the stands. Large gatherings and the hot Texas sun can be a dangerous mix. MedStar tweeted four people for heat-related emergencies at a concert at Panther Island Pavilion last night. Paramedics are on standby for fans at Texas Motor Speedway too. They need to keep drinking water. Uh, I know popular beverages are always fun to drink at those uh, events, but space them out with some water too. That way you don't totally dehydrate yourself. Advice we can all use now that the heat is officially here in North Texas. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. And while responding to a heat call today, it met Star Ambulance was involved in a rollover crash. This is at Hemphill Street and 820. We are told the ambulance was driving through an intersection with lights and sirens on when another vehicle hit the side of that emergency vehicle, causing it to tip over. Now, officials say this is just another reminder to be aware of your surroundings. People, especially on hot days like this, you have your air conditioning on, the windows are closed, you might have the stereo on. Um, just be aware of vehicles that might be around you um, to prevent this type of thing from happening. Three employees were in that ambulance, none seriously hurt. The other driver involved was taken to the hospital to be checked out. Well all right, thank you, Allie. Well, because of the heat, MedStar implemented its extreme weather response procedure. That means patients located outside are prioritized to limit exposure to extreme temperatures. MedStar says its crews treated nine people yesterday who were in heat-related emergencies. The organization urges people to stay hydrated, stay in cool areas, and call elderly loved ones to make sure their homes are not overheating. The Texas heat didn't hold. Hey, you're going to want to take note of the temperature on the bottom of your screen because it's going to be another scorcher, and that extreme heat we saw this weekend might have caught a lot of people off guard. MedStar says it treated 16 people Saturday and Sunday for heat-related emergencies in Fort Worth. Healthcare providers says it had extreme weather response plans in place for when the heat index hits 105 degrees. With the heat apparently here to stay, first responders urge people to who plan to go outside to drink lots of water, stay in cool areas, and check on children and seniors. Yeah, Greg, like you just mentioned, yesterday the hottest day of the year so far, 99 degrees at DFW Airport, and more of it on the way. So for those people who are planning on being outdoors, now a good time to kind of refresh yourself on the ways we've known to beat the heat here in Texas, especially since, you know, last year we didn't have to deal with it as much because we were on lockdown. So just in case you forgot, some reminders, everybody looking forward to getting out there and enjoying the summer activities, but take it from MedStar in Fort Worth. It is not all fun and games. They treated nine people yesterday for issues related to the heat, and six of them were taken to the hospital four in serious condition. In fact, they went to using their extreme weather response procedure yesterday afternoon. That upgrades any response priority for calls to people who are outside. Water, water, and more water. Drink it often. If you're outdoors and dress in light colored, loose fitting clothing, that will keep you from trapping the heat. Think about our older population as well. It is particularly dangerous for them because they might not know just how hot it's getting in their home. So check in with those that you know, and it doesn't matter for how short or how long. Please, please do not leave kids or animals by themselves in a hot car because heat stroke, heat exhaustion are very serious threats. You'll want to know the signs and symptoms. That includes dizziness, having headaches, having cramps. Those are the signs you need to get someplace cool and rehydrate. Mark Kara, back to you. Because there's a warning this morning about that dangerous heat. MedStar says its ambulance crews have responded to at least nine heat-related emergencies over the weekend. They are reminding people to pay close attention to how they're feeling when they're outside. So if you're feeling dizzy, if you're feeling weak, if your muscles are starting to cramp, uh, that's, that's a sign. That is a sign that you need to get out of the heat and that you need to hydrate to prevent something as serious as heat stroke. MedStar also asks you to check on others if you can, which is something that volunteers with Meals on Wheels of Tarrant County are trained to do as well. well and Fort Worth's Panther Island will host one of the biggest outdoor concerts in our area since the pandemic started. Lonnie Basu shows us how officials plan to handle the heat. Five to 7,000 people are expected to show up for Saturday's concert. My name is Fiesta, are you ready to party? At the Panther Island Pavilion, featuring DJ Tiesto and DJ Shami. We're trying to get back on our feet. 
Joe Silva has been waiting for this day since the beginning of the pandemic. We're just setting up the staging and lighting. Concerns always dehydration. You know, people are out in the sun. More than a dozen first responders and 50 ambulances from MedStar will be on standby. Uh, and MedStar's 911 operators will be fully staffed. Restrictions are relaxing. People want to get out. They want to do stuff. While the concerts aren't expected to start until later on in the day, officials are expecting thousands of people to start tailgating early in the afternoon. People are already in the parking lot, you know, having fun and getting ready for the event. It will be freaking spectacular. And a reminder to stay hydrated. In Fort Worth, I'm Molly Basu. All right, so there's your reminder. Stay the heat and humidity reached dangerous levels over the weekend. In total, MedStar responded to 16 heat-related calls. Now, because of the heat, MedStar has implemented its extreme weather response procedures. That happening on both Saturday and Sunday. That means they give priority to people who need help and who are outside and unprotected. Across Fort Worth, 12 people had to go to the hospital. Six of those were in serious condition and two were critical.